Welcome back to study tip for IGCSE Mathematics. Today's topic is related to more equations, formula, and functions. In these topics, you may learn about the equations, subject, substitute, functions. So without further delay, let's begin. Chapter 2, 22 is more focusing on setting up equations to solve problems. Let's look one of the examples given. My mother was 26 years old when I was born. She is presently three times as old as I am. What are our present ages? So in this case, so let's my present age bx, which is you don't know, you have to calculate it to find what is your age. My mother present age b three times. Okay, she is three times as old as me. The difference in ages is 26 years. So mother will always be 29 years older. So the equations that you have to set is 3x minus x. 3x is my mother present age, which is three times as old as me. Minus x is my present age, equals to 26. So 3x minus x is 2x, equals to 26. So we get the value of x equal to 13. So, my present age is 13. So, but my mother's present age at that time when I was born is 26 plus 13 is become 39. Let's look at another one example. A parallelogram has its longer side five times longer then it shorter side. If it has a perimeter of 9.6 meter, what are the lengths of the long and short sides? Okay, if you look at this parallelogram, the parallel is 5x, it's the same thing. And on this side is x. So we know that let the shorter side be the x meter. So the longer side is 5x. The longer side is 5 times the shorter side. So we have perimeter in the sum of the side is 5x plus x plus 5x plus x equals to 9.6 meter. So the total x here is 12x equals to 9.6 meter. And x will be carry a value of 9.6 divided by 12, you get 0 0.8 meter. So the shorter side, this one, is x, is take up the value of 0 0.8 meter. And the longer side is actually 5 times 0 0.8, which is 4 meter. Using an transform formula. Okay, given that C is equal to AX plus B, find X. So, if you see this kind of statement, if you are told to solve for X or find X, it means the same as make X the subject of the formula. Look at this, ax plus b equals to c. We rearrange it so that x becomes the subject of the formula. Okay, so we reorganize the formula so the term with the x is on the left-hand side of the equal sign. You can see, initially it says that c equals to ax plus b. But because of it asked to find x, you have to make 
the x, the subject of the formula. So ax plus b equals to c. ax equals to c minus b. Okay. When we transfer b over here, so b plus become minus. So, and then we divide both sides by A. AX divided by A, C minus B divided by A. So, you get X equals to C minus B divided by A. This is the second word example under using and transforming formula. Given that M equals to half x plus y. Solve this formula for x. Okay. We have m equals to half 1 over 2 x plus y. What you have to do is you have to multiply both sides by 2 to remove the fraction. So m multiplied by 2 half x plus y multiplied by 2. If you can see 2 Minus divide by 2 is become 1. So 2m equals to x plus y. Then what you need to do is you have to subtract y by both sides. So you have 2m minus y equals to x plus y minus y. So you have 2m minus y equals to x. And x equals to 2m minus y. So we write the formula so x is on the left hand side of the equal sign. Function notation is a mathematical way of writing equations. Example, given that fx equals to x to the power of 2 minus 3x and gx equals to 4x minus 6. Find the value of question A, fx means that x take up the value of 6. So fx, f6 equals to 6 to the power of 2 minus 3 multiplied by 6. So you get the answer of 18. For question B, fx, so x take up the value of negative 3. So, based on this, fx equals to x to the power of 2 minus 3x. So, minus 3 to the power of 2 minus 3 multiplied by minus 3. So, you get the value of negative 3 to the power of 2 is 9 minus 3 multiplied by negative 3. So, you get minus 9. So, 9 plus 9 equals to 18. Question C, G, X equals to 4X minus 6. So, given by G, X if half. So, equals to 4 multiplied by half minus 6. So, you have 2 minus 6 equals to negative 4. And finally, for question D, X take up the value of 6. G X equals to 4 X minus 6. G 6 equals to 4 times 6 minus 6. So you have 24 minus 6 equals to 18. With that, with that, I would like to end my presentation. Thank you very much.